Sarah. So welcome to part two, I'm going to call it, of should newbies take a class? I don't know. Maybe just Art Journaling 101, but the upgraded version because my journey with art journaling has taken me about, I want to say this is, I'm going on four years now that I've been following mixed media. Uh, before that, I was a decorative um, painter and it's a di lot different. So I just wanted to share um, the previous video I mentioned, Deborah had asked me a question about do I think taking a class, a year-long class, like Wonderlust, is worth it for a newbie? Would it be too much? And I think, no, it's not too much. Because guess what, guys? We're all newbies at some point. And how are you not going to be a newbie anymore? It's by doing it. And taking classes is the one of the best ways that I know of just getting in there and someone telling you what to do. It's instruction and it's it's new and it's so fun. And I love it. I don't know. I mean, I've taken classes my whole artistic uh, journey. So I just want to go over some things about an art journal. Now, I journaled before, you know, writing words down. Um, daily or weekly, you know, affirmations, just, you know, things like that. But I never did an art journal. And all it means is a place for you to put anything. It's anything, guys. Don't think it has to be a work of art on every page. It's not. So I want to show you a few examples of what an art journal can be. All right. Now, these two are I think a good place to start for a newbie because of the size <clears throat> these are six by well it says it on there right five and a half by eight these are made by Strathmore and they're made for it says visual journal right what's your story but they're made for the purpose of art journaling they're made by an art company that this one is mixed media paper and this one is watercolor paper and so it's, it's on a spiral binding, which I love because if you're overwhelmed by a two-page spread, you just fold it back and you have one page. It's five and a half by eight. It's not too overwhelming. So for a newbie, it's a really good size. Also, the paper, it's heavy duty. This one's the watercolor, I'm pretty sure. And, you know, you can just go create. This is a place where I have used these two journals to experiment with the products because when you begin your art journal journey there's a lot of different products you're going to come across and at first you think you have to have them all you don't you do not need to have them all and I'm going to do a video a follow-up to this about um, tools the tools that I like and I'm going to talk about really specifically my philosophy now which is use what you have and then just, you know, think about things before you buy them. Really, are they going to be used or are they just, you know, going to sit? Because I made the mistake, and I think a lot of people do, newbies, that you think you have to have all these products when you see. I mean, it's an addiction. It really is. And everything is so yummy and so great. And you just, oh, my God. Yesterday I was watching the Jane Davenport Mixed Media Workshop. Her stuff is so yummy. I wanted to go to Michael's right then and buy everything. It was so great, but I didn't. Um, so this, for me, these two journals have been places where I've played with, with um, markers and sprays and tried out, like, just lettering and seeing what happens on the paper, stamping. This is playing with pencils. And, you know, it's not, yeah, there's a couple pages in here that you would consider finished. You know, like it, it was an actual page. But for the most part, it's just playing around. And I didn't even realize it, but I was art journaling at the time. This is an art journal. It's just a journal. It's a daily or month, weekly or monthly place that I played with art. And that's all it has to be. It doesn't have to be anything. I don't... 
I close the book when I'm done. If you hate it, you turn the page. It's not a big deal, right? So I did that for both of these. I think I just wanted to be able to experiment with both kinds of paper. So this is when I was watching a lot of Joanne Sharp videos and just kept playing with that same technique and um, Tombow markers, which are water-based markers. This was part of a class from Lifebook. Uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> I don't know. I think I just went like this with something to see what would happen. And did some. I tried some drippage. And, you know, it's awesome. I love it. They're great. Um, this one is more of a sketchbook. And that's a Maya page. But I just write in here, like I sketch with pencil. I, I think I did some designs for castles in here when I wanted to do my castle um, art journal page. Uh, that's a stencil. This is when I'm doing planning for maybe I wanted to create, I don't know, mosaics when I was doing mixed me um, not mosaics, uh, glass mosaics or these are designs for when I did my pewter. Um, so again, I didn't know it at the time, but this is an art journal. Like these are little, this was the Kate Crane class. She was having us doodle a couple of different styles of faces. This was uh, Kate Crane again. She had us using our jelly prints to make this little owl. Um, when, I, when I carved my own stamps or made my own stamps, I just stamped them in here. This was a Zentangle page, which I love. That stinks that I did, but that's so cute. I was using um, my Secura Jelly Roll pens. So again, it's a little sketchbook. And guys, these are like five bucks, these little books. These, I get. I try to get them when they're on sale. This one's by, I think this is Artcraft or something. It's like the, the AC Moore brand. I covered it up. But they're not expensive. And it's just a place for you to, experiment and play with your tools with the different mediums that are involved in all of this this one is when I decided that I wanted to actually do an art journal that was going to be purposeful that I wasn't just going to play around in uh, because I thought you had to have one of those you don't I, I chose to use this moleskin which is basically it's really I would consider this a regular writing journal or it's kind of along the lines of the um, uh, the traveler's notebook the paper isn't as as forgiving I, I don't know if I want to say forgiving but it's a good quality paper if you're just writing or maybe if you're doing calligraphy or sketching but when you start adding a bunch of media it gets a little out of hand everything starts like getting bulky and um, you know, so I don't recommend this anymore. At the time, I was thrilled with it and thought it was fantastic. But now I've decided that I'm going to go with a journal that is made for media. So the Dilutions Journal for the most part. But not that I didn't have fun in here. And also, I started at page one and started creating pages that were from start to finish pages. And I don't think that's what an art journal has to be. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. But that's not what an art journal has to be. It can be just playing around. And yeah, maybe you finish some pages and you don't finish others. This just happens to be all the pages are finished in here. I don't think I did anything that wasn't, you know, from start to finish. So that's that one. But now I've moved into the Dilutions Journal. And I chose to do... This is the 9 by 9 square journal. She's just come out with smaller ones that are more like on the flip book version. Um, I also have the big one, which this one is 9 by 12, I want to say. And this is the one that I'm using for Wonderlust this year. So all of my Wonderlust classes are going to be in here. And there's plenty of pages. I think there's over 40 pages in here at least. Um, but I've done all three of the the projects for Wonderlust. That's the first, second, third. Um, I'll show you. Let's see. All right. So the first one I really loved. I hadn't done collage in a while. I used my new Jane Davenport paints 
and I loved it. It just felt good. I enjoyed it. The teacher was great. This one, I don't remember who taught it, but I did not like it. The second class was very, um, she actually sped it up and put it to music and put words on the screen of what she was doing. And I don't learn that way. I feel like I learn when you're telling me what you're doing and why you're doing it. So this one just didn't work for me, but I did it. I'm going to, I, my goal is I'm going to do every class this year. I want to do every class. This was the third one. And I liked this one. This one was by, uh, Oh man, I can't remember her name. She's from South Africa and we used liquid acrylics. So acrylic inks, acrylic inks, something I would have never done in a million years. But man, I love it. It's just so artsy and messy and free and it was so fun. And so I'm so, I would have never done this in a million years. And but I did, and I love it, and I may try something like this again. Um, so that was the third one, and that's it. And I'm going to continue on in this art journal. And this is this is made of really good quality paper. Diane De Delusions is her brand, and she designed this because her inks and stuff work really well with this paper. And so it can take the mediums pretty good. Um, it's got an elastic band, so I mean it can get real chunky, but I'm going to use, and it's big, this is big, but I chose it because I'm getting instruction. It's not scary for me to open this up and have a big spread like that because they're going to tell me what to do with it. It's a class. Now if this was my own journal, it's a bit big because I don't, I don't even know where I'm going half the time when I play in my journal. So I would, that's why I went with the 8x8 or the 9x9. It's a good size and I've been able to just, I, I don't even start at the first page. I think I did actually, I came back and filled these in because I thought, well, it's nice to be able to start in the beginning and just turn the pages. Um, this was a piece by Tony Burt. Not, it wasn't, it was inspired by Tony Burt. She's an artist on YouTube. Her work is so it's it's um, shabby chic faces in a style that's all her own and I tried to do it and it did not do her justice at all because her work is phenomenal um, but it's in here and it is what it is um, this is just plain this was a p page that I hated I did a sketch and I covered it up with metallic paint and then I covered it up with other paint like and I was just playing and seeing what would happen this is wiping my brush off on a page when I did another page. This was the castle page that I did. I like that. Um, playing with texture. This was either Jody Ole or I think this was Jody Ole. She likes to play with texture. So the very first thing she does on her canvas is uh, put thick gesso down and then she makes marks in the gesso and lets it dry and bubbles it up with her heat, heat gun and all that stuff. So I was just playing with that. This is just a face. I just wanted to play with a face. I like this background and just wanted to put something on it. I just adhered some tissue paper down and uh, who knows what I'll do on that. Uh, this was just sprays. I think this was an extra class that um, Tamara Laporte taught for Lifebook. And it was just playing with sprays and I would never think to do something like this but I love it it's just color on a page and there's this little focal image with washi tape it's it is what it is but I mean I would never do that so I was just playing around these are some backgrounds that I did with gelatos lots of color there gelatos again um, my angel she's in my videos I have a video for her uh, this was my mailbox. I did a whole mailbox based on this theme, this little fairy forest. Um, but I want, I'm trying to get to this, this other page. These were, um, not stencils, masks. I put butterfly masks down on a busy background and then colored in around it and it is what it is. This is another face. I've been trying to do more faces. And that brings me to, oh, where is it? I'll show you. This one was the Jody Ole class. I did a big um, 
canvas of this, but I wanted to put it in an art journal so I had it. But I want to show you this one by Jane Davenport. I can't find her. I don't know where she is. I did a stencil of um I cannot believe I can't find this. Here it is. Um, I was like I said, I've been watching the the DV, the workshop, the mixed media workshop by Jane Davenport. It is free, and I used my stencil that I got with my paints. This stencil comes with the paints that are the face colors in her um, line. So I just got these, but it came with the stencil and a brush, and. I just, I had this page already had color all over it. I think it was um, drippage from acrylic inks. And I just stenciled her face on here with black ink. And then I painted it in. And I just made lines with this Elegant Writer. You know, the Elegant Writer pens, they're like, they're for calligraphy. But they have, like, if you put water on them, they kind of bleed out and stuff. And... I just love this page. It's so pretty. And then I just went around the, the edges with white to kind of dull down the other um, splatter. But that was so fun. Like such a happy accident that I didn't even know where it was going. But I just love it. Um, so that's this art journal. And this is where I'm going to be creating for the most part now. I'm not, I, I don't see myself going into this one again, my moleskin. Um, and I'll definitely be playing in these. These are where I play and where I get, where I play with a new tool, new paints, new ideas if I want to create. Um, and I have other sketchbooks. Like I have, I just got this big sketchbook. This is a big sketchbook that I'm, I wanted to try and come up with ideas for um, stained glass. But it's just big and it was on sale. So I got that. Um, this one's another sketchbook that I've had for a long, long time. And I've just, there's a lot of faces in here. Um, a lot of stuff that, like I'll just bring this in front of the TV when I'm sitting there. But it was getting full. So that's why I uh, went and got this sketchbook. So I figured I could start just if I'm in the mood to, and if I, if I think I want to do something, this is where you play with those ideas. And guess what? It's an art journal. It is an art journal. So just because it's not a start to finish project, yeah, one last thing I want to talk about. I have all these little um, magazines or, you know, they're period and they're not periodicals. They're publications that promote a certain thing. So Zen Inspirations, we all know about Joanne Fink, her style, her these are for inspiration for me because I don't know where to start sometimes when I want to do something. So I colored that page. I think this is a coloring book, actually. Yeah, this is her coloring book. Um, these are just the Zentangle books because just for ideas and inspiration, I got those. I stopped getting them, though, because now I get it. These two were good. These are by Marie Browning, and I would take a class by her. Like, I should go check out her website. But she did these books for... Tombow and um, what are the, I, I forget what the colored pencils are that she uses. Uh, she has a book called Time to Tangle with Colors. So I don't know, I think it's either Sakura or some company promotes her, her work. These are, um, great types of books for inspiration. So when I get these, I play with the products because I love Tombow markers and I'm going to do one more follow-up video to, to these two about supplies because I do want to keep to the theme of use what you have, but newbies, obviously, you don't have a lot of supplies. So I'm going to talk to the newbies specifically in the next one about my favorite supplies that I feel like I really wouldn't want to live without that I just feel like you know I use every time that I art journal so I'll come back and do that but for now I hope you guys feel inspired and feel like 
you know, you can do it. Just, you know, start small. I would suggest getting one of these smaller journals and just start playing. And don't think it has to be anything. This one's from the uh, Pencil pencil Magic. See? See how she does these designs and then you come back with your pencils? Um, just find yourself a small, good quality paper. So made by a company that, you know, Strathmore is a good brand, Canson, any of those art art companies that um, this was playing with my elegant writer um, in Michaels, A. C. Moore, any of those stores, and get started. You have to start somewhere, so you won't be a newbie any longer, and then you can share your knowledge with all the newbies to come. All right, you guys. Hope that was help helpful. Thanks for watching.